It's really something for people who are approaching 30 to take a look at what that means to them. I think turning 30 is a chance to re-identify with yourself, Neil Patrick Harris. Turning 30 brings with it many changes and realization. It is usually the time when people begin living with the consequences and results of the decisions of their teenage years and 20s. These consequences could involve many of which may come with regrets. You must learn things which will make your 30s fruitful and happy years. Learning these things takes deliberate actions and demand that you be intentional at each stage of your learning curve. That is the only way to make your 30s and the rest of your life one of success and greatness. For many, the 30s is when they develop self-doubt and realize how expensive their mistakes were, but it doesn't have to be so for you. There are 10 things you must learn before you are 30 if you want to live life abundantly and happily. If you are in your teenage years or your 20s, pay close attention as adhering to this will make a whole lot of difference in your life as you get older. However, if you are in your 30s or older and you are not satisfied with the direction of your life, these points could help you begin fixing things. Are you ready to make your life better? Let's do this. Number 1. Money is not everything, value is. For some, this is one of the hardest pills to swallow. Growing up and seeing the things money could do and the things you were denied because there was never enough money can make one have a simple goal to make money. The uncomfortable truth, however, is that money is not everything. Having a goal to make money is not bad in itself, however, it is vague and leaves room for any and everything, including fraudulent activities. That is not a way to live. Money does a whole lot of good and has saved lives, but it has also done lots of damage and has been the cause of many deaths. Money is essential and makes a lot of things more accessible, but the one thing more valuable than money is value. If you are getting money, Know what valuable thing it can be transformed into and let that be your aim. This is the secret of investment, both in oneself and in other things. Get value and not just money. Always aim for value and not for money. Before you turn 30, learn that money is not everything but value is. Number 2. Take care of yourself. At a young age, it is easy to feel immortal and neglect the care for oneself. Many people in their 20s are guilty of this. The scary thing is that the body rewards you for actions and inactions taken as you grow older. It is crucial that before you turn 30, you have learned the importance of taking care of yourself. The truth is that you are all you've got and you will live with yourself until the day you die. Why not make it habitable, safe, and happy? Be sure to visit your dentist, have a regular exercise regimen, have your necessary rest, eat right, go easy on the alcohol if you must drink, not participate in irresponsible sexual activities, and have a regular medical checkup. All these precautions may seem restrictive and boring, but they are also lifesavers. You stay healthy, protecting yourself from unnecessary illness. Learn to take care of yourself before you turn 30. You matter. If you'll be happy as you get older, begin to take care of yourself now. Number 3. Failure can be success. The fear of failure is one of the reasons many people are living a mediocre life. They are so scared of failing and they refuse to try at all. Living in failure means that you will never succeed at anything worthwhile. Failure is not only a way to success, it can be success. Failure is a sign that you attempted something new and great. It shows that you are a doer and not just an overthinker. Also, it indicates that you have learned something new and gotten a little more enlightened. Failure means that you are a little closer to your discovery than you were before. Placing failure in its rightful place helps you less afraid of outcomes and makes you more daring. It also keeps you in a position to achieve more as you get more done. 
you also learn a lot and break more strides than the person afraid of failing and so does little or nothing new. Number 4. Listen to yourself. It has always been said, listen to your intuition, listen to your heart, follow your heart, etc. But this advice is one of the least taken. The average person listens to every other person except his own heart. If we listened to our advice, if we followed what our heart tells us, we would be better off than we are. Your heart knows you better than anyone else. Listen to it. Yes, listen to advice from others, seek opinions, but learn to listen to what your heart is saying. Not only will you save yourself a lot of heartaches, but you will also form a close relationship with yourself. Listen to yourself, listen to your inner voice, be heard. Number 5. Give time to time. Sometimes we compare ourselves with others and give ourselves unrealistic time frames for specific achievements. When things don't happen the way we want them, we feel disappointed with ourselves. Learn to give time some time. If you keep working on your goals and do what you should do, you will get to your dream height. It is necessary though that you realize that everything is dependent on time. If you are impatient and you want to see results immediately, you will only get frustrated. Frustration may lead you to many other negative feelings and thoughts. You may end up giving up and giving up is not an option. Every profitable growth and development takes time. Give time to time and watch yourself grow. Number 6. Pace yourself. No matter how strong or healthy you feel, you are not all powerful. If you neglect this truth, you will break down from stress. Learn to pace yourself and get the most of yourself. Set aside time to rest and use it for rest. Trying to do everything every time because you think you can and should will only burn your energy quickly leaving you drained. As time goes on, you would realize that some important things are left undone. You will only have strength and time for crucial matters and setting your priorities and pacing yourself accordingly will help you to be effectively productive. Learn to pace yourself and you will live a more fulfilling life. Number 7. Perception is everything. Learning the power of perception will not only help you manage your thoughts pattern, but it will also help you manage your relationship with others. When you think and allow yourself to believe will direct your actions and output. What others feel about you will inform their actions towards you. Be careful what you tell yourself about you because you will believe it and allow it to affect everything you do. If you tell yourself you are not good enough, you will believe it and nothing you do will be good enough. Your actions will always follow your beliefs. In the same vein, be careful of what your actions tell people about you. Make sure you only show what is right and what you want to be seen about you. If not, you will paint the wrong pictures and get the improper treatment. Perception is reality. Be careful the impression you build and portray. Number 8. You can't please the world. You can do everything except to please the world. Not even if you kill yourself. Aside from the fact that there are so many people on earth with different views and expectations, humans tend to take for granted what they get easily. The best way to live is by not trying to satisfy everyone, but to do what's best. Make your decisions and stand by them, especially ones which are about your life. Don't fashion your life to please others. They won't appreciate it and they won't be satisfied. They will only frustrate you. Learn that you can't please the world and you will get a new level of freedom. Number 9. How to love your company. Love your neighbors as yourself. The good book says, you can only love others when you have effectively loved yourself. Before you can be an excellent company to others, you have to love your company and be good company to yourself. Spend good time with yourself, form a bond with yourself and be careful how you let people into that circle you made for yourself. People can be abusive and destructive, ensure you do not admit such people into your space. 
Treat yourself well. Listen to yourself. Find your voice and get acquainted with it. Be your greatest fan. Believe in yourself. Trust your ability and be kind to yourself. Many people are kind to everyone but themselves. They are good to everyone but themselves. And they try to love everyone while they starve themselves of love. Before you turn 30, fall in love with yourself and learn how to enjoy your own company. Number 10. How to communicate right. Many wars and misunderstandings are begun by wrong or misunderstood communication. If you would excel in life or business or any kind of relationship, you must learn to communicate right. Communicating right means passing your message across clearly and simply. It means leaving no room for misunderstanding. The art of communication is often learned and takes time as you need to observe the best way to pass your messages. Different people understand different things in different ways and these differences are to be considered when relating to others. Learn how to communicate right and you would have the world in your palms. Turning 30 is usually seen as scary, but it doesn't have to be if you put the right things in place. Part of putting the right things in place includes learning the right things and doing the right things. Learning the above listed ways of life will help your 30s and indeed the rest of your life to be more fruitful and rewarding.